The chair recognizes the honorable member for St. Barnabas. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. First, let me give a mighty heart thanks for uh, allowing me to wake up again in this beautiful country, in the greatest country in the world, the Commonwealth of Bahamas. Uh, Madam Speaker, it is in fact occasions such as this that I wish, and I'm sure other members here, wish that can last all day and for, for the period of an electoral cycle because it truly is a reminder in a profound way why we are here and why it is that we do that we do what we do, uh, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I consider it a blessing at 46 years old that I've had the opportunity very early in my life, from a very young age, I would say as young as eight years old, to understand and appreciate the commerce of relationships, and how important they are to your individual progress and development as a person. So I would have been very fortunate at a very young age to pump gas at my stepfather's gas station on Shirley Street in the HL Road. And when I've had the opportunity to come in contact with some of the greatest sons and daughters of our country, not just those nationally, but also ordinary Bahamians that continue to contribute mightily to the Commonwealth of Bahamas. I can remember putting the gas in, in the tanks of father of the member for Anderson, uh, Amy Hanna, uh, Salatial Thompson, who was the first co commissioner of police in independent uh, Bahamas, Herb of Spain, and the list goes on, uh, Madam Speaker. And later on in life, I would have been fortunate enough to associate myself in a number of fraternal and civic organizations, and one being the lunch bunch that I've mentioned before, the member for Fox Hill is a member as well as the member for Pinewood. And it was on those occasions, Madam Speaker, that I got a chance to meet and to have many conversations with the Honorable George Smith. And you have to keep in mind, Madam Speaker, that for a young man, a young politician as myself, to be able to have conversations with the likes of George Smith and also Sir Arthur Folks, Sir Orville Turnquist, these great men who, on whose shoulders that we stand with something that continues to stay with me to this day. Actually, most recently, um, about I think it might have been a month ago, at a recent lunch of ours, I had the opportunity to sit down with, with uh, the Honorable George Smith. And what has always been consistent is yes, his love for the Progressive Liberal Party, no doubt, but make no mistake, his love for the people of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas and his constant encouragement about in this 50 years, where we need to go in the next 50 years. At one time, the name George Smith was as synonymous with Exuma as the name Georgetown. And for many persons, in fact, you know, they probably would say that Exuma was indeed George's town. But that was the significant impact that George Smith had on the people of Exuma and the people of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Again, I always thought it was important though younger, to understand the contributions of persons like the Honorable George Smith, his contribution to the Ministry of Agriculture, the Ministry of, Ministry of Transport, and to the Hotel Corporation, and all of the other contributions he would have made while serving 29 years in this parliament. And in a time, Madam Speaker, where we are trying to get reelected to serve in this honorable place for 29 years speaks, speaks indeed remarkable, speaks to the volume and the magnitude of who the Honorable George Smith was. Madam Speaker, 
in that most recent conversation, um, and this just reflects, again, his ability to, if you will, to compartmentalize different issues when he would speak to you. Uh, you know, he said to me, he said, boy, Brother Cartwright, you just got elected over a year ago, deputy leader of the Free National Movement. He said, who knows? He said, very soon you might be deputy prime minister, you know? And, uh, you know, I said to him, I said to him, um, <laughs> I said to him, I said, Mr. Smith, you know, that would mean that your, your party would have to lose the next general election. And, um, you know, he was very gracious, very gracious in his remarks. Um, he didn't necessarily want to concede that. But his focus was on what I was able to contribute, he saw, to the Commonwealth of the Bahamas and the development of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, Madam Speaker. As I close, Madam Speaker, and the leader of the opposition, the member of parliament for Marco City, talked about it. In this 50 years of independence, as we reflect on who we are as a people, and the thoughts of where and the prospects of where we ought to be going, the true legacy of persons like the Honorable George Smith and others that have passed on should be felt in what we do going forward and how we contribute to our country, how we give up and continue to sacrifice. Because truly, as I always say, Madam Speaker, the distinctions before and after our name is not what people will remember. They will remember how we would have contributed mightily to the development of our country, Madam Speaker. Yes, sir. Uh, Madam Speaker, uh, Second Corinthians says that I've poured out myself like a drink offering. Uh, the Honorable George Smith um, has poured out himself for his people and for his country. And indeed, the Bahamian people and the Commonwealth of the Bahamas is better for it. We honor him and we thank him for his service. May his soul rest in peace and rise in glory. Thank you, my friend.